Hey guys, this is Steli Afti with Close.io. Today I want to talk about how involved should CEOs and founders get into outbound sales efforts of their companies. So this morning I was just having you know, breakfast with a really experienced, amazing CEO and serial founder. Um, he's running a massive SaaS business today, doing incredibly well. And you know, while we're having coffee and talking about kind of the challenges of our businesses and and the, the unique opportunities, he, he started talking to me about outbound sales. And he was saying that, you know, although they're having amazing success with inbound sales and channel partners and all these different channels that, that fuels their growth, they realize that that growth is limited to a very specific vertical and there's a lot more opportunity out there. So strategically, they made the decision that outbound sales is going to be a priority over the next few months and they need to figure out how to do outbound sales effectively. So he was explaining to me that, that a small team, you know, four or five people, uh, really young, you know, a, a, a excited sales reps, and their job now was to figure out how to do lead generation, how to do qualification and prospecting to funnel high quality outbound leads to the account execs. And he was telling me about all the challenges they had, all the different tools they were using, the ways that were generating those lists. Should they call or email or email and then call? He was telling me about all the leadership changes, you know, first, he, they had a marketing person managing that team, then they took a salesperson, then they took somebody from a different department, and kind of all the different challenges uh, that was going on, and was asking me very specific tactical questions on, should we do this or that? Should we use this tool or that? Should we write this kind of email or that kind of email? Um, and then at the end of kind of the, that interaction, all the questions that he had, he looked at me, and I was like, you know what, all that tactical stuff is awesome and I want to geek out with you and jump right into that. But even before that, there's a much bigger issue here. How much time do you spend with a tiny team of four people? And it was like, oh, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, an hour a week. Uh, you know, I'm very involved on the product side. I'm super involved on the, the large enterprise closing, those massive deal side of things. I'm super involved with the marketing side of thing and HR and hiring and recruiting. But with this small team, you know, I try to take an hour a week and review the results. And that exactly is the issue. Uh, you know, what I told him was that at this early stage of the sales exploration phase of outbound sales for that company, it's incredibly crucial for the founders and the CEO in specific to be involved as much as humanly possible. You can't just give it to a small and inexperienced team, and then look at the results they're generating and their interpretations of what's going on in the world and make judgment calls based on that. Because that's unfair. Um, that team, more likely than not, will lack the experience, lack the context that a founder or a CEO has to really interpret the signals and the feedback and the things they're seeing out there in the real world while they're experimenting with outbound sales correctly. They will make misjudgments or they will miss critical information, critical signals from the market because they just don't have that context and knowledge um, that you have as a founder or CEO. So the number one, number one advice that I have for founders and CEOs when they start something like an outbound sales effort that they think is strategically super important is to be more involved, a lot more involved. Uh, I want you to spend you know, a day a week, if not possible, two days a week at the beginning with that team. I want you to do sales calls. I want you to do lead generation and research lists. I want you to uh, send emails. I want you to be in the midst of things, doing the work, look, experiencing the results and the feedback and what's really going on so you, can, so you can make strategic and tactical judgment calls on the fly based on first-hand experience and not just the second-hand experience that's you know, delivered to you through a filter um, that, that your team has. Like you need to look at these things unfiltered and through your own eyes. So get a lot more involved. You know, if you're a CEO or founder and you try to do sales, you need to do it. You need to live it. I know you're busy. You have a million other things to do, but you need to get right in there, figure things out. And once things are figured out, once you have kind of a model, not a hundred percent, 70 percent of a model, that's fine. Then, you know, Take over other areas and let that team run. Maybe you find somebody more experienced as a leader, manager to put into that team and let that person grow that department and team. But in the very early stages, you need to be involved to figure out what's going on and to increase the chances of success dramatically.